morning, inmates, comrades, COVID survivors. Well, I'm just going out to get my peg uh, things fitted again because uh, if you remember, we felt they were a bit dark. So thank you to Andrew, who's an amazing person. He just did another set for me in a in a lighter brown, so I can dye it to match all the the other uh, browns on brown bike. <laughs> Brown is the new black, right? And I've attached a 360 degree camera which I've had forever and I've never really known what to do with it. I don't know really how to edit that footage. So I think it's time I learnt. So I've put it on the back. See on the back there? I don't know. Hang on, I'll show you. It's not on at the moment because I forgot to turn it on. Beautiful! Winter's day here in Sydney and it's not a cloud in the sky. I swear to God we've had the best winter. All the scooters, all the scooters are there. <laughs> There's a posse of scooters back there all meeting. I should have stopped and, and uh, have a chat to them, find out what they're up to on those little Vespers. There's a few bikers out here today. <laughs> well, it's a perfect day to be riding. I actually like riding in the on winter days like this. The only thing I don't like, of course, is rain and muddy, gravelly roads. That is the equivalent of bad sex, as we all know by now, with my analogies on roads. So I think I'm going to have some good sex today. There's a, there's a guy I follow called Dad and Mad. Big shout out to you guys. And of course they're Sophie, Mama Soph, which is the, the missus and the mum. But Dad and Mad watched his video yesterday of him uh, going for a bit of a ride. They live in England. And he's got his 360 on a stick way out the front of his bike. It's fascinating. And I want to know what that's about. And uh, because it, it captured him riding from the front as if someone was filming him um, in a car or something. But it wasn't. It was from the 360. So that inspired me. Thanks, Dad. That inspired me to get out my thing and uh, give it a go. No, there's going to be a lot of empty office spaces in Sydney, as there will be, I think, in all the cities around the world, because companies are probably realising that they don't need to spend $20,000 a month on rent, when the majority of staff can work from home and be just as productive, and maybe just get a smaller little office where people can come in and for the meetings and the odd sort of work. You know, the time you save on commute, the money you save on rent and all the facilities that go with it. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of high-rise office buildings around the world that will cost a fortune to rent uh, that are going to go empty. It's a whole new world order coming through. I don't know about you, but I mean, what have you got out of COVID? I've got the fact that I don't mind to do a little bit of gardening. I've enjoyed being up the mountains in my mountain home and uh, just getting in with nature and digging around the garden. And anyways, let me know what have you got out of COVID? A positive, not a negative. I know we're all broke. Fuck, I'm so fucking broke. Man. But again, you know, the upside of being so broke is I've learned to live on next to nothing. You know, like I've once all my bills are paid, and there's a lot of bills, I'm left with maybe 150 bucks a week. You know, a lot of people live on that all the time, I know. And so my bills come in this week, and for the first time in a long time, I've, uh, I have to wait for the next, next paycheck to be able to pay them. Huh. What do you think? Is it, are we going to have to, you know, will they find a vaccine and in 12 months time, the only way you'll be able to travel is that. Oh, thank you. The only way you'll be able to travel is if you have something stamped in your passport to say, or a certificate to say that you've got the vaccine. How do you feel about that? I mean, all the anti-vaxxers and you know, and I've listened to lots of uh, sides to this, and everyone's got some points. You know, it's fucking scary shit. But I've made a decision for me, I'm 61 and, and 
fascinated to be able to travel to go on adventures, then I'm going to do it. Because at my age, I figure, you know, if, I, if it gives me some sort of, it fucking kills me in 10 or 20 years time, I'd rather have a really good time over that period than be bloody sitting at home dreaming and wishing that I could be somewhere else. So I personally have made the decision but if a vaccine comes out and you need to have that to be able to travel, I can fill me up, baby. I'm off. I'm just gonna make the most of it now. Whatever it takes. I figure the red light means it's working, right? Yes. Here. There's one around the corner, but it's a tattoo place now. Oh, is it? Anyway, he's fine because we're right in the middle and having a look around. So, I'm going to a thing called the Mushroom Tunnel, and it's, a, it's an old disused tunnel where they grow mushrooms. <laughs> I have a bit of a trip, but um, it's supposed to be haunted. I don't know the full story, but I'll see if I can find out. gravel as well. We all know I fucking hate gravel. Oh. oh Jesus. Now I can't go down there because I won't be able to get back up. Smart move. I'm going to turning circle on these is to die for. Woohoo! Should be as skinny as a rake. Alright then. Well, we're not going to see it, so we'll make our way home. Alright then, so um, I'm going to, I'm going home, so. <laughs> Sorry, because <laughs> from here we probably just will go different ways. Alright, thanks again for that. Good day. I'm the Aussie and the Indian. Oh, wrong one, this Indian. Cause I lost my job two weeks before Christmas.